Hi everyone, my name is Tanyang. I was an FDT in Taiwan for five years, but now I'm an international student here in Australia. For today's video, I pag usapan natin kung worth it pa rin ba mag-apply sa TFBTP or Taiwan Foreign English Teachers Program as an FET or Foreign English Teacher in Taiwan this 2024? Ang sagot ko dyan ay yes and no. Kung gusto nyong malaman kung bakit ganun ang naging opinion ko, tapusin nyo muna itong video at huwag ko muna mag-scroll. Tingnan muna natin ang naging statistics ng mga applicants under TFETP or Taiwan Foreign English Teachers Program last year 2023. According sa data ng TFETP posted last year 2023, there were 19,000 225 applicants. Out of 19,225, 537 applicants lang yung na-interview. And out of 537 applicants na na-interview, 211 lang yung nakapasa. Biruin mo, out of 19,225, 211 lang yung kinuha nila. Kung isa ka sa napabilang dun sa 211 na nakapasa, congrats, you're one of a kind. So, yes, worth it pa rin siya. Kasi pag natanggap ka, mapipay off lahat yung mga efforts, pagod, at yung mga nagastos mo financially. Mababawi mo naman yung mga nagastos mo kasi malaki naman magpasahod yung TFETP. Kasi they are supported by the government in Taiwan. Marami silang benefits and one of my favorite, or I would say, one of the benefits that I like is pwede mong dalhin yung dependent mo, yung wife, yung husband, and even your kids. The bottom line is, it's a risk. Kasi hindi lang time and effort ang ilalaan mo. It involves money or financial Moreover, debt. Moreover, magiging challenging din yung pag-process ng mga documents kasi alam mo naman sa Pilipinas, medyo mabagal yung pag-process ng mga papeles natin So, dyan. if you think you're competent or brave enough na malampasan yung mga challenges na to, then maybe this is your sign. On the other hand, masasabi ko rin siyang hindi worth Ako lang it. personally ha, sa mga nagtatanong sa akin kung pwede bang mag-apply na walang teaching experience, sinasabi ko, okay lang kasi nasa website naman ng TFETP, basta may license ka. Pero kung ang mga makakasabay mo naman sa application mo ay yung mga may 3 to 5 or more years of teaching experience, ano ba ang magiging basihan mo na matatanggap ka? Confidence? O dahil nag-BPO ka, so fluent ka mag-English? Or ganda lang? Sorry to say, but this is the reality. Kasi nga, as I said earlier, hindi madali mag-process ng mga documents. Mag-gastos hindi talaga siya. Hindi siya magiging worth it, lalo na hindi masyadong establish yung background or yung teaching credentials so, I mo. I suggest you build your teaching background or yung teaching credentials mo. Get more experience. And then if you think na kaya mo na makipagsabayan, then go ahead. I don't wanna give false hope to those aspirants kasi hindi po talaga madaling manirahan sa ibang bansa. Lalo na pag first time At mo. At wala kang experience, mahihirapan kang mag-adjust. Kasi magkaiba yung culture natin sa Pilipinas at saka yung culture nila sa Taiwan. As well as the education system. Kung ikaw ang tatanungin ko, worth it pa rin bang mag-apply as a teacher here in Taiwan this 2024?